Hi queens, welcome to part two of the moving in vlog. Excuse my tired face. I just woke up pretty recently and I have an Ikea package that I'm putting together and I actually forgot to start filming when I put together the first thing. So I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, I just put together this little bookcase. It's very cute. It fits here a lot better than the big one. I think it's very nice and we bought this mirror to put on top. And yeah, I need to get some more books because these are like the only books that I have. And I kind of want to fill it with like a lot of books but maybe that just takes some time. I just have to be patient. I bought these from H&M Home yesterday and I just have to find a place for them and I just kind of I haven't really decided on what to put on the bookcase as of yet I just kind of like trying some things out oh yeah this happened <laughs> oh my god I am such a klutz this is not okay um I was um sitting on the floor and I stood up like really quickly and just like smashed my head into the lamp and broke it so, uh, I, I really just cannot with myself. We ordered another one of these nightstands to put on this side. So I'm going to put that together now and show you guys. So the nightstand is ready, looking good. I kind of have to rearrange a bit, but I'm going to wait for my boyfriend to get home to do that because I have to move the bed and stuff. We just have to kind of scoot everything a little bit further that way so that there's space to open the store right here. It's a little bit cramped, but I think it still looks fine and I really wanted to have two nightstands in here, so I think it's pretty good. when i got my coffee machine i actually got like a little tester sampler like a bunch of different flavors of coffee pods and a bunch of them are decaf so i thought i'd try it out because it's three o'clock right now and i really wanted some more coffee but i didn't really want caffeine i just wanted like something to drink so mm, it's actually quite good i've never actually tried decaf before it's such a weird concept to me but like today i was like I think I'll try it. I actually hit my head on our big hanging lamp and broke it. Completely shattered it. I hit my head really hard and there was glass everywhere. Really unfortunate, but the good people of me.com, actually like the best customer service I've experienced, they gave me a new one for free, which is just amazing. So it's fixed. I have a couple of updates to show you guys. The long awaited table is still not here. I think it's gonna be coming in. Actually, I think it's gonna come this week which i'm very excited about i really like the look of this bookshelf right here i got both bookshelf and the mirror from ikea but on top here i got these tulips from my dad when he was visiting the other day i think they're so pretty go so well here i got this candlestick and this vase from portobello market i went with my family the other day and i'm very happy with this find i got two of these and then this statue is just something that my grandma gave me and my parents actually brought it here from iceland when they came visiting the other day so i just love her i love little statues like this i just love them i got these from h&m home and this one was from portobello market as well and yeah i just kind of need to figure out what to put in these shelves but i'm very happy with the mirror we are gonna be ordering some prints tonight to be putting in these frames because we are just sick of looking at them like this i haven't really found a lot of prints that i like i feel like i'm very picky with that kind of stuff and it takes me a long time to find something that i really like so i don't know but we're gonna check it out tonight and hopefully find something cool here is the new lampshade Woo! finally 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 we got the perfect table i'm so happy with it this was so heavy to carry up upstairs i'm actually really happy because i like the kind of marble more on this table than the other one because it's like natural marble um it's always going to be different of course and i kind of like this pattern better it's like a little bit lighter than the other one it was really easy to put together as well and i just Oh, I love it so much. I just did a TikTok. That's why I look like this right now. But I thought I'd do like a little PR unboxing because I got like a bunch of mail. And a part of that was, <laughs> part of that were the posters that we're going to put up here. But before we do that, I wanted to open some PR. Starting with the box that I already opened. <laughs> this one's from Mayron. I love Mayron for like creative makeup purposes. Oh my God. <gasps> I love their face paint so much, so this is very exciting. These pigments are so cool for like creative makeup looks. And these two face paint palettes, love that. 
I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing this, but I love watching what people get for PR, so I thought I'd just open it anyway. This one is from LH Cosmetics from Sweden. <gasps> so cute! I've been wanting to try this powder puff for so long. It looks so good. And we have a bunch of stuff in here. Oh my god, very exciting. Infinity glass looks amazing. This is like a gloss for like eyes and your face and stuff. Beautiful palettes and a bunch of other stuff. This one is from L'Oreal. This is my first star package from L'Oreal, which is kind of crazy. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. Let me take a little pee. What is this? Oh, this is Ciate London. I love when these PR packages come with this like, I don't even know, like paper things. It's just so cute. We got a lipstick, a ooh, glossy cheek tint. That sounds really good. Two of those, hydrating pore refining primer. Great. This is, oh, it's like a lipstick. Cute. I think I'm just gonna put the pictures in the frames now. I was gonna wait for my boyfriend to come home, but I think I just wanna do it now. I don't know. I'm just impatient. I want to see how it looks. It took us a long time to find photos that we like really liked or like prints But we did it in the end from three different places So that kind of tells you like how picky we were But the first picture we got which is going in the middle is from Desenio This very cute like couple illustration thing And we have just like a little date here at the bottom And you can like customize the text and everything Thing. very cute so we're gonna put that in the middle frame then we got this one from Etsy from a shop called what is it called windy creative something I can just put the links down below so you guys can check it out if you want to but basically we want it that's like kind of our thing we wanted one picture that was like butterfly themed and then one photo that was like cloud like sky themed but I was just kind of struggling to find something that I liked visually. So, but I found this and it's very cute. I'll have to open it in a little bit, but it's like this kind of Japanese. I'm pretty sure it's like Japanese. I'm not sure. I think that's what it said on the description. Like a Japanese illustration, like really pretty butterflies. And then the last thing was from Etsy as well, but from a different store called The Modern Antique. And they sell like really cool printed oil paintings, I think. Okay, yeah, it's very pretty. Here it is. I don't know if you can see it. It's really pretty. I don't want to touch you too much. I'm just going to put it in the frames and then I'll show you guys. Here are the prints up on the wall. I really love how they turned out. I think it is the part of the video, finally, where I'm going to do a little tour of the place. Everything that I've kind of wanted to do with the apartment is ready. By the way, don't mind me. I have to put on some fake tan on my body. So like my face is a little bit darker than my body because I already did my makeup, but I haven't done my fake tan, so. Whatever. Pretty much everything that we wanted to get done has been done now. There's obviously always going to be like a little, a couple little details that we want to kind of like finish. I still am looking for a full length mirror that I want to put somewhere, but I'm not in a rush to do that. But I still think that the apartment is ready enough. Like for me, stuff is almost never ready. Like I can just like keep going with a project forever, but it's ready enough that I can show you guys the finished result. I mean, I guess you guys have already seen like most <laughs> of the apartment already. So maybe this is not like a huge reveal or anything, but I still wanted to do like a full cohesive tour so you guys can see it like kind of all in one go and yeah let's get started so when you first walk in through the door we have the hallway which is quite small but it leads to the studio over there which is the second bedroom we're gonna get to that later the first thing that you see is the bathroom i guess this is supposed to be like the guest bathroom we use this one a lot more during the day and the other one we use a lot more like during the night i do like my skincare here we take showers in the other one actually because this one 
has a bath that actually got fixed today. We haven't been able to use this bath because this drain thing didn't work. I got this thing from Ikea. It just has like a little candle from H&M Home on it. But as I said, we haven't been able to use it yet. So I would like to get a couple few more trinkets to put on here. This thing I got from Amazon. It's like an acrylic little skincare organizer, which I love. It keeps all my skincare really nicely. And like my hair care and stuff, very nicely organized. And I have some perfumes. I don't know what this is, but I have like some perfumes and hair oils and stuff on top. I really like the bathrooms in this place. I feel like they're very recently renovated, so they look very good and like fresh. Got these marble tiles and yeah. Here I have this thing. Um, I got this from Ikea and then this is from Zara Home. I really like this scent. This is the dark amber scent. I think, I think I'm gonna get more of these, but they ran out really fast. I've never had re-diffusers run out this fast. When you come out of the bathroom, you see the living room. I wish we could remove this door and these two because they're kind of pointless. I feel like the space would be so much better without the doors. It would just be like a nice white frame and we could use these walls for something else. This couch is from Ikea. I will try to link as many things as I can down below for you guys. These two cushions are from Sarah Home and then this one my dad got me. The blanket is from Ikea. And then these three frames are from Ikea as well and I showed you guys where the pictures were from already. This table is from Pash.com and I'm very happy with how it looks. I love the design. I love the shape and everything It's also available in black and like a lighter brown I think this lamp is from Made.com and I'm very happy with their service Like I told you this thing got broken. Why do I feel like it's hanging lower than usual right now? I don't know. It feels like a little bit unstable Which is weird and it always like shakes when we walk past it because I guess the floor is like not really that stable <laughs> Whatever. It's very beautiful. I love the marble base it's like a very heavy very heavy marble what i love about this apartment are also the big windows because we get so much light in here and it's just so beautiful to look outside we have so much greenery and cute birds and stuff on this side we have the tv um this lamp actually came with the apartment and we don't love it but i mean it doesn't really bother us so we're gonna change it out eventually but i don't know we're not in a rush to do it or anything i would just love to get like a nice lamp with gold hardware as opposed to this gray thing this media unit is from wafer and i really like how it looks here and then we got the tv from amazon we have just like a little what's this called like a diffuser kind of thing i don't know what it's called i don't know the word slipped my mind for some reason it's like a aroma diffuser thing we got this from amazon it's easy to use i don't know i don't really have too much experience with these so i can't really tell you if this is a good one or not but i think it's fine here we just have some pretty little crystals that we have collected in this cute little marble tray the dining table is from Wayfair as well and the chairs are from Ikea. Now you guys know the story behind this table. It was a hassle to get this but finally it's here and we are very happy about it. I think having a marble dining table can be kind of hard because obviously marble gets very easily like dirty and stuff but there is like a coating so I think it should be fine and I like the contrast between having like a white sofa dark wood things and like marble i don't know i just think it's cute here we have the bookcase i have a couple more books now finally i got some books from the studio just to keep here while the studio is not being used but i want to eventually get even more and i just have a couple of cute things in here as well like this candle is from primark home my statue vase this one's from primark home as well and a candlestick and this mirror and from there we're moving into the kitchen I also think the kitchen is like pretty recently renovated. It feels kind of like newish compared to the building it is quite old. This fruit bowl and this little um, tray thing are from Amazon. These cutting boards, these two are from Ikea. This one is from H&M Home. This is from H&M Home as well. This we got on Amazon as well. We got a lot of stuff from Amazon just because it's very easy to get and it comes really quickly. And we got this Meg toaster from Amazon as well. This one I bought from John Lewis, my Nespresso, my beautiful, beautiful Nespresso. And yeah, then we just have the sink and yeah. Coming out of the living room, we have the studio. Now the studio is, it's kind of crowded with stuff, so it's not too like visually pleasing, I guess. Like we have a lot of PR packages right here. We have a lot of like tripods and stuff. But let me just turn on the lights so you can see like the full vision. So this is the studio. This is where I stay almost every day and work. I do white videos. I have my palettes. I can do like a whole vanity tour if you guys want. It's a lot of stuff. So I'm not going to go into everything now. But I have my little mirror here. There's not really a lot more to show in here. I mean, we have some like storage, like some hooks. And then 
a wardrobe for my boyfriend to use so we have a lot of storage in here which is good <laughs> here's my for my latest look <laughs> i mean when we were looking at apartments we were looking for a two-bedroom apartment or a apartment with a really big bedroom so that i could have my studio in there but i'm really happy that we decided to take the two bedroom because it just makes such a difference for me to work from home and be able to go into a separate space so like because we were able to do that i'm very happy that we did from the studio and also just to mention it both of the bedrooms are carpeted but the rest of the apartment has like a hardwood floor and i think that looks really good i like having the soft carpet in the bedrooms but i really like the hardwood in the living room and other spaces so studio is here and here's the bedroom this is the ensuite bathroom it's kind of small but it has a really nice shower and the same kind of style as the other bathroom the shower is really good and we have all of our shower products in here this little same thing from ikea toothbrushes are in here and like some everyday kind of essential toiletries this room doesn't have like any lighting overhead lighting which is fine but we just have this lamp and then these two really ugly lamps that we have in here that i don't want to keep in here so the bed is from john lewis and i want to get some more bedding to like kind of make this a little bit better and more like fluffy bedding hotel like hotel vibes because this is just like our um duvets but i want to get like a blanket and some more pillows and stuff so this is looking like kind of sad right now but don't mind that it's all a work in progress so here we have my wardrobe which has all of my clothes i have my dresses and stuff here some tops here and then in here i have like coats and stuff and some hoodies on top i had to switch on my phone because my camera died and there's so little left of the video so i just wanted to switch to kind of be able to finish it all in one go we have these shelves here that are really nice i keep my bags here and my heel shoes so my heels and my boots and stuff so there's like really nice storage in here we have this reed diffuser from zara home this here is from ikea we have this one from h&m home i really want to get another one of these lamps and put it here so that we can have like the same kind of vibe going on both sides i mean i guess the space between like the bed the bed stands and like the walls like it is a little bit cramped but i think it still works we don't really need much extra space in here because i mean we're basically just sleeping in here here is my nightstand i have just like my little journal here we have this alarm clock that's also why i don't have this kind of a lamp but i really want it to be on this side as well but we use this alarm clock a lot i just have a random candle here and this beautiful vase from h&m home and here is the dresser i just keep like my underwear socks and stuff and also my jeans and pants in here and then nakua also has some of his stuff in here on top of the dresser we have have this really cute print that Nekka's sister got him and then here I have my jewelry box that my mom got me for Christmas this is from Stax I think but it is very convenient for keeping all the jewelry and then I have this like necklace stand from H&M home while my arm is really hairy <laughs> um you remember in the last video like I accidentally got two Amazon orders and this was one of them so we have two of these diffusers so I just like to keep one in here and put lavender in it before we go to sleep and then i don't know what to do with this gucci box it's a box that came with my gucci tights but i just think it's pretty i like the green color but i don't really know what to do with it here i saw a little pigeon making a nest out here like right there i'm kind of curious to see if there will be little pigeon babies i've never seen a baby pigeon before so i'm kind of trying to look out and see if she's making the nest or what's going on so yeah one last look at the bedroom from this angle so yeah, that is the apartment. I am super happy with how I came out. And honestly, like the most important thing is not like how it looks and stuff, like with the decor and everything. Like I am very happy with what we did, but it is very important for us also because like for the past six months, we have been in and out of apartments and like never really found a place that really felt like home. So it's very important to us to have found an apartment that we really feel at home in and we really feel good here and feel safe and secure and love the neighborhood and love everything that's all that matters so i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, following my journey here i obviously could not have done this without you guys i could not be living here and doing what i'm doing without you so i'm very very grateful for that if you guys want to keep up with me you can follow me on instagram and tiktok i will leave those on the screen if you watched this far comment this emoji down below and we can chat in the comments i always answer my comments so and i'll see you guys in the next video bye